Well, Phil was a really close friend, and anytime he's in town and we can connect, we, we really enjoy our time together. We got to be close friends because we ended up rooming uh, together on the road. And I'll tell you what, some of the best memories in the world are going on the road with, you know, 80 of your best friends and staying in great hotels and playing football and these, these wonderful stadiums against a crowd that completely hates you. Um, so Phil and I got to experience that together. Uh, again, we had a great relationship. He was a, he was a fantastic quarterback. I think you're 100% right in your assessment of his place in South Carolina history. You know, Phil wasn't going to wow you with just an NFL arm, but he had a really good arm, and he threw the ball very accurately, and Phil was an extremely intelligent quarterback. He knew where to put the ball. Uh, he knew how to read defenses, and he was athletic enough to make plays and extend plays with his, with his legs. So uh, he was a lot better than I was. There was a, definitely a reason why I was his backup. Uh, and, you know, uh, as a backup, I just try to do my best to, you know, supplement the guys in front of me and help them know that if they could do something, if I could help them think through the game the way I could think through it and they could do it with their athleticism, uh, then we were a better team. And I didn't need to do that with Phil, but as I got older with some of the younger guys, I tried to do that. Um, but Phil's a wonderful dude. Uh, he lives at the beach now. I wish he'd come into Columbia more so I could see him more. 